Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. All the time, I'm looking through listings, finding things that say that they're broke, not working, etc. Sometimes I find some crazy good deals and some very interesting things, and at the very least, it's low risk. So why not go pick it up and tear it apart and see how it works? And today's thing, something I was not expecting, it's a slot machine. <laughs> it's a slot machine. It's a real one. And um, this one here I got for $50. So comes with the key. And inside the machine was a whole bunch of quarters. <laughs> so it kind of already has started to pay for itself. So let's go ahead and let's flip this camera around. And I will show you guys what the inside of this bad boy looks like. And I'll show you why I don't have it turned on at the moment. All right, guys, here we go. This is an actual Asian style um, vending machine or a gambling machine. It's a little bit different than the ones that you're used to. The Asian ones always have like stop rolls. So it's a skill stop, I guess is what they call it. So it will spin, 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 and then you tell it when to stop each and every roller. All right, so, uh, it's got obviously a lot of lights, a lot of things, and it does light up and a lot of things work. It's got a cash out button and a bet. And this little joystick right here, which is odd. I, I don't really know what this guy does yet. But um, like I said before, it has a lot of coins that I found inside it. So probably, uh, $50, I found probably um, $10 worth of quarters in it, maybe maybe more. But uh, it does have two keys. So one key there goes to the computer inside, and this guy here goes to the case cabinet. And it does a couple other cool things. But uh, I haven't completely figured it out. Maybe I was saving that for you guys. So here's the main door and the service door. So we can turn this. And then this guy down here opens up. Yes! Here, let me flick on a light because it can be quite dark. All right, so <laughs> this is what the inside of an Asian slot machine looks like. It's got uh, various official labeling because the, the payout rates and everything are fixed. And since they're fixed, um, there's security patches and stuff on even the chips that are inside. We'll, we'll open that up and we'll take a look. But... Uh, Interesting enough, there's a whole bunch of incandescent lamps that support all the uh, lights and flashy things. And here are the spinners. So the spinners, I can feel, are connected to three independent stepper motors. Um, but these ones here have to have some sort of feedback loop. So while they feel like steppers, they, they're either closed loop steppers, which means they got a feedback someplace that tells it where it's at, or it is a servo motor, which means it's got constant positioning. I don't know, but you can feel, see it's kind of jittery when I rotate it. That's going between the poles inside the, uh, inside the motor. That's how I know it's a stepper motor. So we got, uh, this guy over here is the coin dispenser, which oddly enough, I can take out quite easily. Let's see, it's just that guy right there. And then the coin dispenser just comes right out. Kind of cool. So inside the coin dispenser, there's like an agitator right here in the middle. And there is a mechanism down here. And it's a little dirty. So it's got to get cleaned up. And it's got some rubber contacts down there. And what it's supposed to do is grab the coins and kind of fling them sideways. And they go underneath this ring. And they come out the front. Which, the front is right here. And they shoot out right here. When you win. So... I uh, can get this guy to spin up. This guy here actually does work just fine. There we go. Um, so, as far as I can tell, it just needs cleaned. And let's see. Let's take a look at what the underside looks like. Okay, look at that. Holy cow. Okay, so it's got a 100-volt uh, AC motor. You're going you're gonna to be surprised. A lot of stuff on this guy runs on AC. So you can see uh, some of it's uh, switching down here. Oh, what do we have? Okay. So um, 
what it shows is that the the button right here is to reverse the direction and this guy right here this little switch turns it on and tells it to kick out coins so when you want to empty out your coin bins oh look at that i am finding more and more treasure look at this treasure there's more and more of these guys okay so there's all sorts of coins up inside here when i got it so there, there might even be some more like up and in here but so that's the coin coin bank so i can pull that guy out let's see oh interesting okay i'm always interested in some of the other cool things so notice right here this strip right here detects conductivity so where is the other piece all i can think of is maybe down there in the motor and i can see right there so it's got that lug and it goes up here and it has it goes through the panel and there's a strip so it knows when the hopper is full and either it's going to alter the pay lines, in other words, it's going to make it pay, uh, pay out faster if the hopper's full, uh, or it's going to divert some coins or something. I'm not really sure, but uh, never noticed that before. That right here is a conductivity patch, so when the coins fill up, they'll conduct electricity and trigger it and tell it maybe that it's time to pay out. I don't know. I'm going to set him down there so I don't break it. Next, I have two other boards on the inside right here. This one here is the central computer, and the one over here looks like a power supply slash um, switching unit. It's it's definitely a little odd. And, hold on, let's, let's do this. Aha! Okay, so I just opened up the top, and there's a chute right here. I haven't completely figured out what that chute is for. It looks like you pour something in here, like coins, right? To fill to fill the machine. I don't know. Let's take a look around the back. It looks like, yeah, it looks like they they go down on the inside right here. And maybe that's for filling. I don't know. Interesting. This right here looks like a DC power supply. Oh, oh oops, sorry guys. So uh, this guy right here looks like a DC power supply. And I don't know for sure if it's working. So I have definitely got to investigate that. The only things that appear to be working on this guy so far are the AC power. So right here, this is the lever mechanism. There are some hidden levers, like this guy right here. So I can open the top. But if that's a DC power supply, then that guy right there, I have no signs that it's working correctly. What is down there? Okay, so there's a chute that comes all the way down here. Oh, right here. Okay, so the coins bounce right here and they fill up the hopper. So after somebody wins, what they do is they open up this door and they pour coins down in there. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> I'm rich. Okay, so that is definitely what it's for. So after somebody wins, ah, after somebody wins, they have to refill the hopper with a certain quantity, and that way there, it can start earning money again. It does have this little counter over here that says in and out, interesting. And it's got a power switch over there that says on and off. And when I have it plugged in, it actually, this does control AC mains. So that does turn AC on. It doesn't make any do 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 or anything like that. Now these guys here, I don't even know if they move very much. But down here is the computer. And the computer, it's a large like ISA style like bus. Look at that. How crazy long that guy is, right? So notice the security tape on everything. It's across the chips. And uh, maybe one of the reasons, yeah, it's sealed completely. I do need to crack that tape off, take it off, because look over here at some of these capacitors. You see them? See, see them bubbled out? So a lot of those filter caps that are on the power rails for this computer, they're bad. So I already know, 
I already know for a fact that this guy here is going to be part of my problem. And this right here, come on. Come on, missus. There it is. And then this guy is just a switchboard. Come on. Hey, uh, take a look at this guy. Now, right here, you can see that there's maybe a little bit of heat by that electrolytic capacitor right there. But it appears to be good. And as I already said, uh, so far, I can't even prove that I have DC power. So, one of the things that I'm really concerned with is where my DC rails are and how I'm going to measure those. And all this guy down here is is a breakout. So yeah, that's all it is. You can see underneath it. And yes, normally that does secure, but I didn't secure it down because I'm currently going through this cabinet. There we are. I'm currently going through the cabinet and I'm fixing some things up. Oh, what's this? What is this? What is this? Oh, that. That looks like a photo sensor, right? Like a photo uh, optical interrupter. And that's how it knows that the coin bank is in, right? Like something comes in here and splits those two. All right, am I right or am I wrong? See, those don't pull off. That means that the coin bank would tell it that it's fully seated, right? I don't know. It's also a little odd because it's right here, obviously on a ground plane. Look how much grounding is here. You see that they, they went to hell on, on the grounding. Here, here. I wonder why they did so much with the shielding. Maybe so it can't be cheated with uh, electromagnetic. I don't know. That's kind of what I'm thinking is that they, they did it purposely so that maybe there's no interference that can affect it. That's why it's got all the redundant grounding. You can see it's everywhere, man. It's like its own Faraday. I mean, everything has got it. Even these guys right here. Touch those. Get some coins. What are these guys? I don't even know what those are. That's wild. Okay, those almost look like little power supplies. It's got a little switch right here. A little switch right there. I don't know, I'm gonna have to check those out. So this right here is my, uh, my coin detector. And I know I can lift this guy. <laughs> Good thing I have the cables on there. So um, my coin sorter right here. And you can push this button and it does show uh, a green light. I have determined that the electromagnet right here is not turning on. For whatever reason. And that way there it rejects every single coin. So no real idea yet why. But normally, um, this solenoid right here should pull in, and that way there, the coins should be routed right here if they pass the test. So coin sorters right here, they, they have uh, magnetic detectors, which means that they'll, detect if the, they'll detect if they're slugs. They also have uh, thickness detectors. And this guy right here is on a hinge. And it's also got a weight detector, you see that? So if it, it's a certain weight, then it will pass it or reject it. And all these old school coin sorters, they always have these spring-loaded arms. But uh, super easy. It just kind of plugs in like this. And then, whoop, there we go. So that is my coin sorting mechanism. So it either rejects the coins and it goes down the chute and back into the front. Or right here, it accepts it and they should roll out the side and here into the hopper. Hmm. So, uh, this is where I'm, I'm kind of stuck because this machine here, it should be making a lot of do 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 sounds and probably the first thing I should do is check the power rails. Uh, obviously the capacitors on this are shot. So that's what I'm gonna fix, probably one of the first. I've got uh, several integrated breakers right here. They're absolutely fine. But I do have some DC power rails that are gonna have to feed this guy and they, some of them are definitely coming down here because I, I do have DC on, on this detector button. So, really curious. I'm going to have to touch up, touch up on some of my Japanese. Um, 
some of the other things like these guys right here these all look like they're fine as far as I can tell I'll, I'll of course pull them out and check them and this one right here I think is a uh, thing for the coin sorter I'm not really sure I'll have to Google lens it here's an interlock so it detects if the computer's in or not if the computer is not in then this thing will not turn on so right right there that flap's got to be up and latched on now I did have a lot of uh, corrosion and stuff on these pins and I did clean them so those cards are technically good to go but I'm going to have to break the tape and get in there and change out those capacitors but anyway just wanted to show you guys one of my uh, crazy things that I was able to pick up so um, I've, I've been putting this off for a while because obviously my CBET exam was priority but now that that's out of the way now I guess I can move on to my other projects and see if I can get this guy back up and going. Now, if I do get this up and fix, it's probably worth between $800 and $1,400 on the Houston market. And I bought it for $50. So even if I stick it off in the corner and let the kids just run wild with it, I'm still going to get my $50 worth. So, <laughs> Well, actually, let's say $40 because, remember, I do have a bunch of quarters that came in it. And I figure that... At the very least, it's going to make some interesting content. So I'll let you guys know what I find out, and uh, I'll keep you guys in the loop. Who knows? Maybe this is unfixable because parts are probably pretty hard to get. So we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys.